ground face. Okay. okay, I'm going to start the cat, okay? Okay, I'm going to do two. Same similar to when we take the ankle. I'm just going to create a surface area. Then what I want to do here, do two anchors. So one of the things is around the base of the metatarsal, that's uh, it's kind of the general area. Yeah, okay. just kind of create a surface area. Cool. Okay, and then from there, what's the next step? A double layer of elastic column should be split and anchored to the base of the cap using the two-inch cup point. Okay, this is the stuff that we're talking about, but we're not using it. We're going to this. So we're going to do two of these, okay? So we're just going to split these. And then come in behind, come up high here. Kind of lay this here. Okay? And then this is the thing, okay? I know that when they're flipped in a dorsiflex position, their calf is stre um, stretched out, right? If I'm trying to prevent that motion for whatever reason, what do I want to do? Spider flex. Spider flex, okay? So now I'm shortening the calf up, okay? And I'm just going to, I'm holding my hand back here so it doesn't stick to the period. That's the only purpose. And I'm measuring it out to their toe. Once I got that, then I rip it off. And then what I want to do is I want to center up the heel right here. When I pull this, be careful how far you tear it. Right here. Okay? This <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to do how many? Two. So you don't want it to be dorsal flexed? No, because dorsal position is the position which it's it, bad. It, it, they'll injure themselves. Okay. So I usually, I'm just trying to pull this up tight here. Again, measure out to the toe. Be careful when you do this. When you do this uh, stuff, that you don't rip it and it gets clear down the hill. Try and keep it up in the arch a little bit, okay? Okay, now from there, then what do I do? What well, keeps it from not tearing, continuing to tear? On the back? Foot. Yeah, and down, uh, down by the arch as well. Okay. Pause just for a second, okay? This is what it needs to do, is you're going to use, just do a couple of these. And I'm kind of like when I started down here, when we did our an um, anchors for the ankle, I just kind of angled it a little bit. And I, what I'll tell them to do is I'll say, go ahead and flex your cat or your quad for me. And so I don't want to get too tight. I'm just going to overlap it, okay? So let's just say that we're going to just overlap it too right there, okay? So that's all we need. Then down here, again, angle that a little bit. And be careful that you don't get too high you know, find that base of the calf, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, cut. there's two different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way I can do this, to do this, is just find out the measurement of how long they need. And I'm just going to put it on the table. I'm going to rip it. And I'm going to create a little fan or an X. So that's all I did. I did one straight and then just kind of crisscross a little bit. And you could do more if you want. I'm only needing three. To, that's all I'm asking you guys to do. This center of this area, you know, I want to center up right here. I don't want this to set like this. So I want to try and find that happy medium. And so she's slightly bent, so there's going to be this gap behind here, okay? So once I've done that, that's one way to do it. And then how I want to finish it off is then I'm just going to go ahead Okay, now, so, and you want this heel, now watch what will happen, it's going to slide a little bit because just the mere fact that the pre-wrap and I don't have an anchor, so go ahead and extend to me, see how it's kind of pulling back, you feel resistance? Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? You have to find a happy medium on the mount mm -hmm. of this lift, okay? If you do this, and that's good, and if you want to even kind of straighten your leg a little bit, but it's that last portion that you're trying to prevent. Now, would I send an athlete out to practice like this? No. What I'd want to do is this, this stuff right here. I would just go clear around, so then I'm kind of sucking in tight against her leg, and so then that will just add to that resistance. Does that make sense? Okay, pretend 
the, this piece is not there, okay? We've just done the two anchors, two anchors. Here's the other way to do this. I can create an X. Sorry. Yeah, there's not there no more. Okay. The other way I can do this, so I've done my two anchors, I've done my two anchors, and I find my X, and I can just lay this down. Sorry, I still need this in there. Lift it up just a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. You lift the card out again. Okay. So I'm just kind of crisscrossing that, but I'm trying to create that X in that middle portion of the leg. Than the other one? Well, this is a lot of times what I do. I'm just showing you a quick, easy, fast way if you want to do it the other way. And then and then at that point, then I want to do my two anchors, do two and two. And then I've done that. So, and I'll let her go. I'm just going to do one. Okay. I, draw, I drew that so you guys kind of see because you don't want the tape going over their kneecap because now they're going to bend it and it just restricts some of that motion. So when I do this, again, you can measure this out and do a fan like I did, or if you want to physically just do it kind of like this. Make sure these ends get this, this stuff down here. If you're going to do it this way, just do two of these, okay? So now, and I got maybe a little bit on the knee. So now I've tried to come across, create this X on that joint line itself, okay? And then after I'm done there, I can do this anchor, okay? I want you guys to feel on them, I want you to feel along their their, uh, their knee, where it's that little shelf, and they'll, cut, they'll feel like it drops in, okay? So you guys have an idea of where you need to start at. So this is kind of where you're at, top and bottom, and we're going to try and put that piece, this rolled up piece, right in the middle. Okay? Does that make sense? A lot of times, like I taught last night and I had the person put the roll down here. Okay? That needs to be up in between the bottom of the patella and then that attachment spot. I want to have it in between. Okay? So what I'm going to do is... About that, okay. Am I gonna sit there? Am I gonna sit there and measure this thing on you guys? No. Okay. What I'm going to do because I'm gonna pull from the lateral side, I'm gonna pull medial. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it in between the two different, you know, the, the bottom and that um, attachment side. I'm gonna put it a little bit lateral. And the reason why is because when I pull, I'm hopefully gonna pull that to put it in the, in the middle. Okay. Now, if it gets turned a little bit, okay, I'm understanding that, but just know what I'm looking for. Okay. So then I'm gonna have her lay her leg kind of flat. The first trip I do, B, it says uh, first trip directly over the roll in the middle of the tendon. I guess, sorry, four, you just need to do the roll. Four A is where I'm talking now, okay? I want to come from behind, kind of where that attachment of the, the tendons, you can feel those. I want to start on the lateral side. I want to kind of come to the back side a little bit. Now, this tape, I want I want that to be right in the middle of where that roll, um, this, this uh, little rolled up piece is, okay? So I'm here, I'm going to pick up on the knees a little bit to put a little bit of pressure. I'm going to kind of come back, okay? So, my next piece, I want the roll to be on the top half of the tape, okay? This doesn't have to be perfect, it's not like it has to be on the top bottom, you can do either or on this order. I'm going to come across, okay? And the second one, now the roll is going to be on the bottom half of the tape, again, I'm not going to care if you start where the roll is on the bottom half, half on that second strip, I'm fine, okay? The fourth strip, you're going to repeat that first one so it's going to be right in the middle, okay? So we're not going all the way around? No. Can you stand it up for me? Okay, turn the rotate over. And the reason why is because if I go all the way around, you could. I try and not do that because it allows it to have a little bit of flexibility, you know, a little bit of room.
sees. I want to see a nice uniform line. Circles coming up. But my goal is I don't want to have a whole bunch of it sitting right here. Now, if you want, because this is where most of the soil is at, you can, you can narrow these gaps down a little bit to try to here. But what tends to happen is people usually run out of it, so then they're trying to make it round. I'm just going to shorten up just a little bit right there, but I'm going to do what I told you guys not to do. So I can get to that. I should have done it like that. I couldn't see how small I was getting right here. I'll try and keep this so that I could maybe start it down a little bit lower condensement, okay? But you just want to have nice uniform coming up. If you want to tighten them up right here in this area, I have no issues with that, you know? But the whole thing is, is I'm up high enough. See how I mean, like right here's our kneecap. See how much higher I ended the bottom? It's about that gap. I don't want to see this top portion sitting right here. Because then it's just going to be down. So make sure you're up mid to high thigh, okay?